do it. It's not worth it. I'm not going to do it, girl. I'm just thinking about it. I'm not going to do it. One eternity later. I did it. Welcome back to the channel. This is Tunola right here. If you guys are new, you're welcome. On today's video, I just really wanted to talk briefly about my COVID vaccination. So my COVID vaccine story is a very funny one. Basically, I just got fully vaxxed against COVID. I took the Moderna vaccine for my first and second dose. Why I'm just getting vaxxed? To be honest, I was quite hesitant in the beginning. Why? Because I felt like I didn't really need the vaccine. Now, I work in the healthcare system and I was actually working with COVID positive patients, elderly people dying from COVID. I also worked in COVID vaccination center, but I still did not get the vaccine. Now, before you start judging me, throwing out all the HR, just listen. Just chill calm down okay <laughs> so i was testing every single week for covid and i never developed covid um i i was never positive for the for the virus i don't know why that was the case because i was literally in close contact with people with covid um although i did protect myself my ppe washing hands and all those stuff that we all needed to do i just felt like my immune system maybe has been exposed to COVID but developed immunity against it. Maybe that's why I'm not testing positive. I felt like maybe I was just lucky. I don't know whatever the case was, but I just felt like, oh, maybe I'm fine. I've developed immunity against it and I basically don't need the vaccine. Also because it was a new vaccine and I wanted to really study it before I took it. Also, my rationale was that um, COVID is highly infectious, but it wasn't as deadly. If it was a more deadly virus, then definitely I would have gotten the vaccine way since. I'm not saying people are not dying from COVID. Yeah, it's deadly. People die from it, but it's not as deadly as some other viruses out there. So I felt like maybe I just don't need it. However, because I work in the healthcare system, it was quite important for me to get the vaccine because even though I was testing every week and I was negative, it was becoming an issue because I didn't have the vaccine. Like I would apply for some jobs and I wasn't able to get some jobs because of the vaccine. So it was affecting me financially. Aside that, you know, there were there were certain restrictions for those that didn't get the vaccine, as you know, both at work and generally. And it was already getting a bit uncomfortable. Even if you want to travel, you know, there are certain restrictions if you don't have the vaccine. So I decided, you know what, why don't I get this thing? Because at the end of the day, I wasn't scared for the side effects. I wasn't scared about the vaccine not being effective or damaging my system. It was just that I felt like I didn't need it. And just taking into account what the government is trying to achieve, which is herd immunity, People that can get the vaccine should try to get the vaccine for those that cannot get the vaccine. So in any case, if one cannot get the vaccine because of their immune system or their health issues, it's understandable. Those that can't get it would have less exposure to COVID-19. So that makes sense. And I feel like, well, since I'm amongst those that can get the vaccine, I have no allergies against it. Why not just get it and get it out of the way and get my life back to normal? So I decided to take the vaccine and I went, I booked an appointment. Apparently, I didn't even need an appointment for my first dose. Like they were like, oh, just come in and get it. <laughs> so I went to the pharmacy and I got my Moderna sh shot. I was... I <laughs> No. Okay, you're ready. Okay, it's this way. Okay. All right. So let me just let me look at you first. Look over there. Yeah. Oh. Don't look at me. Okay. It's just easy. So it's the Delta, right? Yes. Okay, so. Correct? Yeah. 
don't move, just relax. Relax. Very relax. Okay. It's a small medium, nothing. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. It's very I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, let me just look away again. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Uh, yeah, okay. Good? No, don't look me. Uh, uh. It's okay. 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 Good? Oh, You're doing for kids. Easy. Relax. Do nothing. Just. Oh, my. I'm just injecting. Okay. Nothing. Thanks. Even I cannot see which where it was. Yeah. Thank see? you. No problem. At least you're good now. Good to go. Okay. Guys, I have to say that I was quite dramatic because generally I don't like syringe, I don't like needles. Not the contents of the you know shots, but I was scared of the needle itself. But I eventually just got it. Yeah, I did it. I, I was fine. A few hours after, I believe about five hours after, I started feeling lots of pain in my deltoid muscle, this area right here. And I couldn't like lift my arm up, especially at both shoulder level, I couldn't lift my arm. That was the main thing I felt. And I also felt tired. So I just stayed in door for about two days and I was fine afterwards. I didn't have any significant side effects or anything like that for the first dose. So the second dose was supposed to be four weeks after. I couldn't get an appointment to get a second dose because they didn't have Moderna vaccine. I don't know why, but they were like, I should just take Pfizer. And I'm like, I don't want to mix the vaccine because we hear of all these stories where people that took you know, mixed vaccines were not allowed to enter certain countries. You know, generally we've been advised that we can mix the vaccines. You can take Pfizer for your first dose, take Moderna for your second dose, you're fine. But I didn't want to do that because I don't want to start saying any stories if I want to travel or anything like that. So I was like, let me just get the same shots, you know, this second time. So I had to wait for them to restock the Moderna vaccine which was almost two weeks after. So I had to get the second dose almost six weeks after the first dose. It was not pain when you got it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's no need to panic. There's no need to panic. Yeah. Me, Me, I don't want to. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah. What happened to you? No. <laughs> for my second dose it was fine it wasn't as painful as the first one there were no side effects that i felt aside just being tired like the first time i was tired for about two days i had to stay indoor my arm wasn't as painful for the second vaccine but i can tell you that you know everyone is different and everyone's experience will be different for example my boyfriend he took it and he wasn't feeling well at all. The second dose, I heard people react to it more than the first dose. And even the pharmacist did advise us that we might react to it more, but I, I didn't feel anything, like I was fine, basically. I was just tired. But my boyfriend was like throwing up. He was basically sick. He had fever, he was throwing up. He was really weak, as in I was getting concerned at some level. It was about two days. But it was fine afterwards, so we just did like water, stay rehydrated, take Tylenol. He couldn't eat anything, so 
I just gave him like liquids, smoothies. But after two days, it was fine. And that was mostly the side effects that he had. Now that I'm fully vaccinated, it feels like I'm beginning to have my life back. Um, when it comes to jobs, I don't have issues with getting jobs now. Thank God I got my vaccine because even the government now has made it compulsory for healthcare workers to have the vaccine fully vaccinated so now it's not an issue for me to you know work anymore also you know if i have any plans of traveling or you know just general freedom i have more freedom now that i've gotten the vaccine no short-term side effects thank god as we've seen so far we don't know what the future holds if there'll be any long-term side effects i pray not i hope not but yeah, I just wanted to share my story with you guys. For those that are hesitant about getting the vaccine as well, you know, just get it. Just, just get it to make your life easier, do you get? But yeah, I'm happy everything went well. I still was testing for COVID virus every single week. Even when I didn't have the vaccine, I was testing every single week. And now that I have the vaccine, Sometimes if I'm going to some workplaces, they ask me to test for the COVID. So I still do the COVID testing sometimes. I don't have any issue with that. I've never tested positive, which is, I don't know, it's just weird. But like, I thank God for everything. I thank God for good health anyway. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly share that with you on my COVID vaccination. Don't bother about the controversies, you know, just get your life back in place. And I hope it goes well with your system, you know, no side effects and you'll be fine. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And if you did enjoy this video or felt like it added some sort of value to you, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, you're welcome. Feel free to subscribe down below. I share great content. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video or in my other videos. Check them out. Thank you. Bye, guys.